Hello guys, my name is Alex, and hope you guys are ready for episode 2 of Inside the Round. And once again, we're going to be starting this one off by going to check out my class setup. So now that we're in COD Elite, we're going to be moving over to custom classes. And we're using my first one, it's an ACR class with a silencer. I got the impact proficiency on it, I love impact and search and destroy. Talked about it in my other one, but we'll go over it one more time. So basically what impact does, it gives you more bullet damage through cover. And this is really helpful in search and destroy because most of the time your gunfights are going to be cover to cover. And just having that little advantage will grant you the victory. Uh, so my pistol is a P99 and the only reason I'm using that one is because it's James Bond pistol. We got Semtexes and Flashes. Flashes are the basically the number one stun flash kind of mixture. Uh, flashes you throw them at the same speed and they have a lot bigger hit radius. Semtexes. I'm always the big difference between a Semtex and a Frag. like Frag because you can cook them and basically it's like an insta-kill if you do it right. But Semtexes are just so consistent, uh, so that's why I'm using those. I got Extreme Conditioning, and the idea behind that is I'm going to move up into the base and then just kind of lock down one area. Just, just get there before they can get there and just kind of lock it down and make sure that they don't think I'm going to be there. Quick draw, talked about it before. I like to have either quick draw or sleight of hand in my class. And because I'm using extreme conditioning, I'm just going to put quick draw on. Uh, so I got dead silence, and the idea is I'm going to be in close range. They're most likely going to be able to sound horn me. So I'm just going to be using dead silence. Now, my point streak is actually the support streak. Uh, so I'm only using UAV and counter UAV. And I just find it so much easier to be able to earn them when you only have two of them. So the UAV will be my four points, and my counter UAV will be my five points. Basically, is making sure I get at least them once, and then I have a possibility to get them twice and three times in one game, which really makes them nice. Now let's jump straight into the gameplay. So we're going to start off by throwing a Semtex into their spawn. There's normally at least one guy that hangs back in that little room. We get them right there. We get kind of lucky that our teammates at the bottom of the, the tunnel, and there was a guy just hanging out top. And geez, like I'm just a monster right now. I'm picking up three guys nice quick. Because these guys just tried to rush out awfully quickly, and they just got turned away from me. Now you see me take that little look over. I didn't see anybody, but it was helpful because I didn't know there was a guy down there. Two of my teammates did die over that way. And there's the guy that was the culprit. Uh, take him out by doing a nice little walk forward head glitch, which was a really nice job. you got to always look what you're doing. Uh, by pushing forward, I created myself a little target while being able to stay on target and help my aiming. And here I get so lucky that he's bad. He goes in for the knife for some reason. I'm just able to jump and shoot him. Uh, so we, there's a dead body over there, that means that somebody taking him out. Uh, I'm just going to start it off by throwing a couple flash grenades, see if I can get a hit marker. Turns out I don't, but if I did, I would have went in for the kill right there. And right here I realized that we're winning 3-1, and I got a UAV and a counter UAV, so I'm going to call those stuff in soon enough. And we're both going to end up pushing in two different doors. It was a nice job, I had a double push. Uh, so he's going to push in that door over there, I'm going to go in the, the front door. And we're both just going to basically just try to trap him. Now what basically happens is he gets taken out because he was getting he came through the doors quicker than me. And I just end up taking out the guy in the back corner. Uh, so we did a pretty nice job. So I got about five kills that round. And I did a good bit of tactics in that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. 